hello friends today we are going to learn what is a radicular cyst and we are, we will going to see some cases of the radicular cyst it is also known as a periapical cyst myself dr hemant bawnerkar i am a mumbai based oral and maxillofacial surgeon let us start so what is a radicular cyst basically it's an odontogenic cyst derived from cell rest of malaises that proliferate in response to the inflammation uh, uh, it also known as apical periodontal cyst periapical cyst and root end cyst here we can able to see the because of a chronic infection to the tooth the infection goes to the periapical region via pulpal infection infection root and periapically it enlarges and forms a cyst so it is a basically odontogenic cyst it is a most common pathology seen in oral cavity after the oral cancer carcinomas so let us see what is a cyst as we know cyst is a any any pathologic uh, cavity which is filled with the fluid gases or and it's lined by epithelium so what is the component of the cyst here we can able to see the main it the lumen the cavity of the cyst is called as a lumen means where the cystic fluid or the infectious pus is accumulated then second part is the epithelial lining here we can able to see lining so mostly cyst is histopathologically diagnosed with the presence of the epithelial lining and the wall of the capsule of the cyst is also present here also a schematic representation of the cyst so let us see what is a periapical cyst and its incidence mostly types of we if we see the types of radicular cyst there is a main three types one is a apical radicular cyst second is a lateral radicular cyst and third one is a residual lateral cyst as the uh, word it's uh, suggest itself the apical cyst means the cyst is form periapical region to the infected tooth then lateral cyst is a uh, present at the lateral side and it's form at the lateral canals from the tooth then residual cyst after the infectious tooth is removal the residual cyst is present there and it's called a residual cyst percentage wise most common is a apical radicular cyst is mostly a 70% in cases most common location for the uh, periapical cyst is maxillary anterior region followed by maxillary posterior region and then mandibular posterior region what are the clinical feature of the periapical cyst mostly periapical cyst is asymptomatic it's generally noted with it when it expands and it form the swelling and it is able to seen from the extraorally or intraorally and patient bother for the swelling only generally patient come to us with the swelling complaint not with the pain complaint mostly because of the uh, it's a slow progressive it takes time generally it associated with the a maxillary anterior tooth and generally many times it has a history of trauma or the history of chronic decayed tooth uh, when we see the initiation of the uh, apical cyst is because of the infection goes to the periapical region and uh, enlarges there it as we know it's a very slow progressive cyst uh, the infection enter enters and the swelling become painful and rapid when it's uh, it's a uh, infection and form with the pus initially swelling is round and hard but because of the uh, abscess formation inside the cyst and the pus burst sometimes it's uh, a non uh, involved in bone also because of the large size of the cyst it resolved the buccal cortical plate also and the superficial because of the thinness of the superficial bone 
in maxilla of mandible it's called egg shell like appearance mostly it's present in the maxillary anterior region let us see what is the pathogenesis of the radicular cyst as we know the in fact its maximum time it's uh, associated with the infected chronic decayed tooth or the non vital tooth when the infection come to the periapical region via pulpal canal there is a initiation of the cyst formation and the proliferation of the cell restum molasses the cyst formation is start when the infection accumulate at the periapical region and it starts uh, enlarging when the infectious fluid is uh, encapsulated and accumulated inside the inside the uh, epithelial lining and forms the lumen here we can able to see because of the uh, decayed to the infection goes to the periapical region and the periapical cyst is form these are the uh, as i described earlier these are the three stage of the periapical cyst now let us see what is the diagnosis of the how we diagnose the periapical cyst we just seen earlier the clinical feature of the radicular cyst mostly it's asymptomatic and common site is a maxillary anterior region and mandibular posterior region on the radiograph mostly it see it it seen like like this it's like a peri uh, radial uh, uh, radial lucent uh, uh, periapical infection surrounded by radio opaque cortical margins it's here also we can able to see a well demarcated unicystic pathology or compartment here we can able to see here also in maxillary anterior region we can able to see a, a large radio lucent cavity mostly we uh, we are able to uh, see uh, tell that this is a cystic cavity when the diameter is more than 0.5 mm here in mandibular periapical region it's this is also radicular cyst the well demarcated cortical border are present on the histological uh, histological slide there is a, uh, always a presence of epithelial lining and the col cholesterol clefts are there so these are two peculiar uh, peculiar we can say uh, terms we can able to see on the histopathological slide now let us see some case reports here the we can able to see a swelling on maxillary anterior region on the clinical uh, clinically there is a no cortical expansion on on buccal cortical plate but there is a expansion present on the palatal cortical plate it means the cyst is more like a toward uh, palatal side here on the cbct we can able to see there is a large radio lucent uh, uh, periapical pathology with respect to the to uh, uh, one one and one two tooth number here on the uh, <coughs> coronal sections we can able to see there is a palatal enlargement here the here also we can able to see the di dimension of the cyst almost to 22 22 millimeter from anterior posterior and superior inferior is almost 20 to 30 millimeter in size so it's a very important that cbct also we should advise in maxillary radicular cyst here uh, on the same case uh, in uh, the mostly treatment is inoculation of uh, radicular cyst for inoculation we should uh, take a full thickness mucoperiosteal flap here uh, i have taken the full thickness mucoferiosteal flap with the one vertical releasing incision and the one cravicular incision with the 15 number surgical blade after exposure of the pathologic uh, area i had done the osteotomy and exposed the cystic lining here we can able to take out the uh, superficial egg shell like bone here 
after inoculation with the uh, uh, with the curate uh, we can able to see or uh, uh, pathologic defect is here this is a cystic lining i have uh, taken out after the inoculation we uh, we debride the wound thoroughly with the betadine solution after that the apicectomy of the root canal treated uh, tooth was uh, done here the another case of radicular cyst in maxilla here after surgical exposure and inoculation the cystic lining is inoculated pathologic lining is inoculated and the wound debridement is done as i said 45 degree apicectomy of the involved teeth is done and the retro restoration with mta biodentin or gic was done here the closure of the wound with the 30 black silk is done next this is also maxillary anterior periapical cyst after exposure and inoculation this is a cystic lining here a bone graft is placed and the closure was achieved here also a radicular cyst associated with premolar and molar on maxillary posterior region we can able to see on axial coronal and sagittal section that cyst is very large almost uh, 20 mm to 12 mm in size here well demarcated cortical border is present this is a uh, presentation on opg here after inoculation and apicectomy was done after pathologic removal we can able to see a posterior wall or sound bone we can able to see so here uh, we end with the today's radicular cyst case report in next part 2 section i will uh, i will show the some cases with mar supplementation and other treatment option with the radicular cyst thank you for today please subscribe my youtube channel oral surgery and beyond and share with your friends also thank you thank you for today